Hey hey YouTube fam, welcome back. This is Ayana. If you don't already know me by now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to know each other, yeah? I feel like every time I make a video, my nails are busted. I'm gonna have to make a video where my nails are like freshly done so you can see that majority of my life isn't broken nails and the struggle. I'm about to dive in. All right, let's dive into this. So you wanna fill up your sink with warm water. Use the least bit amount of water that you can. Let's conserve water for the little fishes, yeah? Anyways, one part vinegar to three parts water. That is the magic solution. It's supposed to help you with itchiness. So we'll see if that's actually true or not. So in total, I had nine pieces of hair. The first three pieces, I soaked it in apple cider vinegar, and the other six pieces, I dipped it and soaked it in the distilled white vinegar. And at the end, I will show a comparison of the hair. I didn't really see any white residue float to the top like other YouTubers claim um, from the chemicals that's put on the braid here. I didn't really see all that float to the top or the water change any color or anything like that. So maybe the water wasn't hot enough um, or maybe I didn't add enough vinegar. Let me know what your experience is like when you do it. I left the hair to soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. After I drained the sink, I rinsed it off thoroughly with um, lukewarm water and then I towel dried each individual piece before I hung it up to dry. For it to dry quickly, you have to hang it up to dry. And when I mean quickly, I mean like at least six hours. <laughs> so if you need to get your hair braided, um, you need to prep this hair like the day before or so. So that way it can dry naturally since it's synthetic hair. And you don't really want to dry it with a blow dryer or anything like that. But um, this is the three pieces of hair that I did earlier with the apple cider vinegar. And the smell, it just smelled like regular braiding hair. It did not smell like apple cider vinegar. I was so happy. So here we have it, the final results. The hair all the way to the left is the hair that was in the apple cider vinegar. And the hair that's on the right is the hair that was in the white distilled vinegar. So when it comes to color, nothing changed. When it comes to texture, nothing really changed. But when it came down to smell, Apple cider vinegar for the win, guys. Apple cider vinegar had the least amount of smell. Like, it took out the chemical smell in the hair, um, whereas the white distilled vinegar didn't really have an effect on the hair as far as, like, the smell. It still smelled like it had chemical on it, and it still, still smelled really plasticky. So now that we figured out apple cider vinegar is the GOAT, I will definitely be using that every time when I prep my hair. Oh, but wait, don't stop watching. You gotta binge watch when you get on YouTube. I've got another video about this hair. So you should go ahead and check it out. Just click on the box in the upper right hand side of your screen. Till next time, bye guys. DJ, Hello.